Hi 4-H'ers, we're back again to learn about um, the order Theroptera, which are all of the lice, and there are four different types of lice that you're going to need to know for the contest. Only one is the one that you're probably thinking of, which gets on humans, but there's other lice that have different hosts. Um, the human head louse host is the human, and usually on the head, and then there's other lice that have different animals that they use as their host. So Theroptera, the pH I always pronounce it with the PH silence. Um, Theroptera is its name. Be sure you can spell that correctly. It will help you out on the contest. The common, the general common name for these guys, of course, is lice. And then depending on where they're found, that is going to be the host that they're on. And the trick is that usually these guys have that name in their common name, and so it's easy to figure out what the, the host is. They're always going to be pests. This is a unique group because some of them have sucking mouth parts and one of them has chewing mouth parts. The one that has chewing mouth parts is called the chicken head louse and the chicken head louse just needs to be known by intermediates. You know that this lice has uh, chewing mouth parts because the head is bigger so it can fit all the mouth parts inside of there. And so of course you find these on chickens, on poultry, they feed on the feathers of the birds. Um, all lice are wingless because they, it would get in the way. If, it, if they had wings on the body. They're very small. Lice are generally flat in size. The bigger they are, the easier it is to pick them off. So these are all adaptations so that they're able to live on that host for a long time. The head louse is the louse that juniors, intermediates, and seniors need to know. Everybody needs to know this one. Um, these guys have piercing and sucking mouth parts. Uh, they are a sucking louse, so the head is a little bit more narrow, so compare that to the chicken head louse. They're usually found only on the head on humans. They can be found on other mammals if, if there's enough of them, but I would know that the host is humans and it's on the head. The hog louse is a large louse. Um, when you, It's got a fatter body to it when you're studying these, and these need to be known by intermediates and seniors. This louse also sucks, so louse is singular and lice is plural. Um, and it's going to be found on hogs or swine, right? Because it's a hog louse. And then the last one that you need to know is the short-nosed cattle louse. The host are cattle. It's a sucking louse. It's not that gigantic when you compare it to the hog louse. To be quite honest with you, I've never seen either one of these. I've only seen the chicken head louse and, the, and a head louse. So um, I don't really have a good way to tell you how to memorize these things. My suspicion is that if you see it on the contest, you won't see it on a district contest, or actually you might because it will be in a picture, but on the state contest, you'll have to have a microscope or something like that to be able to see it. The other things that I would know about um, lice in general is that they have an incomplete life cycle. They are hemimetabolous. Um, only the poultry louse or the chicken head louse has chewing mouth parts. The others have sucking mouth parts. Um, and they, in general, are considered to be a pest. So that's it, basically, for this order of Theroptera. If you're a junior, you only need to know the head louse. If you're an intermediate or a senior, you need to know all four.